Hey vlog life, we're back at it. Um, it's Thursday, September tenth. Still a raspy ass voice. Um, I went to Fifth Ave this morning. I had a dentist appointment for my aligners. I am gonna be doing an update video in the next two weeks on that. Now that I finally went to the appointment and got some feedback and some information about what's going on with my mouth. This process is taking a long time because of my particular teeth, um, not because of the company, but I'm gonna get into all of that in the update video on my beauty channel in the next two weeks. Anyway, <clears throat> ew. Anyway, the book that I'm reading that I snapped, which I'll show you guys later because I don't have it by me right now, is Amazeballs. Um, I just really love it. I'll share some stuff from the book with you guys that I was going to share that I was thinking about on the train, but now, of course, I forgot. Um, so, yeah. So, right now, I'm actually going to, like, I really want to sit and have these conversations with you guys, but between... Being in Vegas for so long and now dealing with Vegas withdrawals and back to school stuff and summer withdrawals and my aunt is still here and I have like a million and a half appointments this week and um, just trying to catch up on stuff and my birthday this weekend and just like a lot of stuff going on right now, I am slightly losing my mind. So I need to take care of all that and then hopefully... Later on today, I will get a second to sit and chit chat with you guys. But right now, I'm going to film a video. It is an updated fitness routine video, which I hope I can film and get up today. If not today, it will be up tomorrow. Um, but I'm definitely going to film it right now. Then I have to go get Noel, then get him ready, do homework. And he has his first hockey class today. So we got to go do that, then drop him back home. Then I got to go to the gym because I haven't been in the gym in forever. And it's Pilates tonight at 7. And I want to try to not miss it and to make Pilates. Um, so there's that, and yeah, hopefully we'll find some time to chit chat tonight, guys. So just giving you a little update, letting you know what up. I did a really quick, like, two-minute face right now, which I should have done this morning, so I could have looked a little bit more presentable, but whatever. I did it right now, and I'm gonna film this video for you guys, so love you. Bye. Alright, so this is the moment of truth right now. It's... Five o'clock. Noel starts hockey classes today um, from 5.30 to 6. What up, dude? He's not. From 5.30 to 6, right? I have Pilates on Thursday from 7 to 8 at the gym. So from 6 to 7 is my window to return skates, get in the car, get him home, drop him off, and get to the gym to try to make Pilates in time. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to try. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to have to give up Pilates class because that's the only time they have Pilates the whole week in my gym. But we're going to see. And today's going to be the defining factor. So, ready, Noel? Yes, yes. Lego. Hey, guys. I just came out of the gym. I'm walking to my car. We're going to do a little rant session and we're going to do a summer withdrawal conversation right now because I'm going to sit in my car and have my first rant in my new car. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna do that. <sighs> but there's people that look crazy. Oh, what did I just step on? Um, I parked really far from the freaking gym. All right, so anyway, since we're talking about the new car, let's start with the new car. Well, let's start with this. I have changed so much over the summer. Like, I don't even recognize myself anymore. I fucking became a different person. There's a lot of reasons for it. Um, but I'm really fucking happy with who I am. Like, extremely. I've never been this happy with myself. I've never had this high self-esteem. Like, I always had crazy self-esteem issues because I was like, hold on, I'm passing more people. I should wait until I get in the car, no? I don't know. What do you think? Um, so yeah, anyway. What the hell was I saying? Okay, so I was always like made fun of and I was like chubby in elementary school and whatever. I just had crazy self-esteem issues and it kind of like carried over into my adult life. But this summer, I'm like really fucking happy with everything about myself. Like of course, you know, there's, you're always going to want to improve stuff, but I'm fucking, I like me now, you know what I mean? And I don't think I could ever, like I've liked me before, but not completely and unconditionally well i thought i liked myself before 
but now it's like so unconditional that I'm like wow I guess I really never did like myself um so with that being said <coughs> my vlogs I stopped vlogging over the summer because I wanted to live in the moment and enjoy my life and enjoy my summer which I have explained to you guys before then a lot of people were upset that I wasn't vlogging anymore and wanted vlogs so I started compiling oh my god I almost walked right past my car um hold on let me get in the car and then I'll talk all right it's really freaking bright in here um so yeah I started I was snapping anyway snapping a lot so I started compiling my snaps into vlogs just to give you guys something for the people who don't have snapchat um would have some kind of vlog if you do have snapchat I'm sorry I guess you guys saw it twice or you just didn't watch the vlog because you had already seen it on snap you know what I mean um but I tried right so apparently it's not enough for some people so there's just a lot of BS comments because now I like pre-uploaded two weeks of vlogs which were mostly snap vlogs I did explain countless time times that it was gonna be snap vlogs and I would get back to vlogging when my life got back to normal aka after the summer my aunt leaves um, but whatever I'm saying it one last time now obviously you guys see that vlogs are back to normal but <coughs> It's not that I don't know how to turn the camera sideways. Snap chat is just like that. You can't make it full screen. So hence why it was half of the screen. If you didn't want to watch it, you didn't have to watch. I blow kisses and stick my tongue out a lot because I use my Snapchat more than anything like when I'm bored to like sing songs or to do pointless snaps looking in the camera, which is what pretty much everybody that I know and all like my acquaintances and stuff do and that's the snaps that I see in my snapchat stories so that's what I do too if you don't like it you didn't have to watch um it was summertime I partied a lot I enjoyed my summer if you didn't want to see me partying you didn't have to watch like you guys are complaining but you were the one sitting there watching you could have just exited it out and saved yourself all that time and all the stress of complaining um things like this used to get to me like it used to hurt my feelings i don't care like <laughs> i said you didn't have to watch um what else <laughs> it's just so funny because then there's people that like watch my snap but watch my vlog and talk shit on my vlog if you want to talk shit on my vlog especially bringing up my child i will block you and if you still want to stalk my life then watch my snap where you can watch form your opinion and you're unable to fucking share it um because if you're gonna be a hater then be a hater in the silent snapchat world i'm not gonna have that shit here i'm not gonna have comments about my child my child is doing amazing he has temper tantrums. What child doesn't? You need to get over yourselves. Um, he actually has a better childhood than I did. And I had a pretty fucking amazing childhood. <coughs> yeah, I think so. So what else was being addressed? Oh, my body. Oh, my God, guys. Let's talk about this for a second. Guys, I have a problem with me showing my body. Again, it's Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> Snapchat is for me singing and trying to dance on camera with the phone in my hand which is very hard which sometimes comes out as just me pointing at my boobs because that's as far as I can angle away to kind of show you guys me dancing and then when I like put the camera up to show you guys me dancing it just freaking looks funny and I don't know I think I look weird um again you didn't have to watch yes I've been wearing a lot of crop tops I went to Vegas the fuck did you expect me to wear in Vegas like a potato sack I wore bikinis I wore crop tops I have been busting my behind in the gym, like busting it, and I am so proud of myself. I've never stuck with the gym like this. Like, I am freaking proud of myself. So, all that work that I put in, you damn right that I am gonna show this body off. I'm in my 20s. It was summertime, it was like a hundred and something degrees in Vegas and like 98 degrees in New York City. I was in the beach all the time, I was at festivals all the time. What did you expect me to wear? But I love how the vlogs where I'm with Noelle or with my family and we go out to eat or we do other stuff and I'm wearing like, like sundresses and things like that. 
nobody remembers those or nobody wants to say oh but look in this environment she wears different kinds of clothes like the fuck am i gonna wear at the beach what the fuck am i gonna wear at a festival that's just it is what it is if you don't like it you didn't have to watch um i feel like this should be so common sense but apparently it's not to people so with that side let's move on to my summer Happiest I have ever been with myself. I changed so much. I see things so differently. I have such a different mindset. I have different people in my life. I am looking for different people to have and incorporate into my life. Um, bullshit doesn't bother me anymore. I kind of just brush it off. The only bullshit that does bother me is my mom's bipolarness, which I'm not going to lie, it still gets to me and it still kind of sets me off. But that's just because that's my mom. And I'm always going to, like, like care. You know what I mean? Like, with other people, they can bring the bullshit and I just don't care. But with my mom, when she brings the bullshit, I care. Because that's my mom. And, like, I want to have a good relationship with her. You know what I mean? Um, but whatever. One day at a time. And I'm not even going to address that now because my aunt is still here. And tensions are on a fucking all-time high. Sorry, I got to drink my protein shake within a half hour of finishing working out. Um... Yeah, but tensions are at an all-time high because my aunt is still here. She's been here since June. It's like three months. July, August, September. Yeah, three months she's here. And, like, my... Not that we're over it. Well, I love having her here, you know what I mean? But she took my room. I've had no room. I'll show you guys maybe tomorrow. I, I may not be home tomorrow. I got errands to run. But eventually I'll show you guys in the next couple of days my house. So my computer room, I think I told you I literally have to climb over stuff to get to the chair. There's stuff all over the desk. Things have been piling up. Um, my room has all her suitcases and stuff in it, so I have no access to my room. My mom's room has, like, a bunch of stuff in it. She broke some of my furniture in my room, so all the stuff that was in that furniture is kind of in piles all around. My clothes are in crazy piles on the table because I can't put it away because I don't have access to my room. So my wardrobe is basically the dining room table right now and Noelle's as well so it's just really hard um dealing all the stuff my mom has been buying throughout the summer is just kind of piling up because she's you know she doesn't have time to put anything away because my aunt is here we're constantly like going out taking her places we don't my aunts when they come they don't like to just sit in the house for not even a day so like the one day every other week that we try to stay home and like my mom tries to do laundry and I like try to clean up a little bit my aunt has a face because she wants to go out so it's really hard so yeah tensions are definitely on an all-time high right now because of that my mom is pretty much over having the company um noelle is completely and utterly spoiled because now it's like my aunt me and my mom and it's a whole different dynamic and it's just like he's completely spoiled so his behavior is off the chain this summer um but it's funny because when it's, like, just me and him, like, he'll still have his episodes, but he curbs them faster because he knows that there's no one else to run to. So, for example, we were in the mall the other day. It was the three of us. He's running around Macy's, and I'm telling him to stop, but I'm not going to run after him in the mall. I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm, I'm, like, walking swiftly without running. I'm trying to go after him, but then he just runs faster. So I'm not going to play cat and mouse chase game. I'm like, you need to stop. So then he knocks over, like, a clothes on the rack or whatever. But it was, like, Michael Kors shirts had to be something expensive. So they were all, like, kind of tied to each other, you know, with the security tie. So, like, 15 freaking shirts fall down. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So he starts throwing a temper tantrum. And I'm like, you need to pick this up. Screaming, crying, no, da -da -da, running around. My mom is standing right there. So he's, like, hiding behind her. I'm like, you two, just go. Just go. So they walked away. And he's there, like... <laughs> the fuck am I gonna do now you know what I mean and like I didn't move I some lady came and started picking him up I'm like no thank you so much but that's fine it's his responsibility to pick it up thank you but don't fucking touch the stuff on the floor it was like a customer it wasn't a worker there so he's sitting on the floor next to his mess crying so I sit down on the floor next to him and I'm like I can sit here all day you're crying for no reason. He's like, it was an accident, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I know it was an accident, but why did the accident happen? He's like, because I was running. I'm like, right? Are you supposed to be running through the store? No, but it was an accident. I understand. It's great. It was an accident. 
But the accident happened because you were doing something you weren't supposed to do. Like, I wasn't... This is the thing. Like, in situations like this, especially outside, I usually get embarrassed. And, like, I start getting really stressed. I wasn't stressed. I was just sitting there. And, like, I didn't care. The people, he's screaming at the top of his lungs. People are walking around. I'm like, oh, whatever. Kids throw tantrums. You can deal with it or you cannot. Like, at the end of the day, I'm never seeing these people again. You know what I mean? So I'm just sitting there calm. And I'm like, we're not going anywhere until you pick this stuff up. He's like, I don't know where it goes. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I will help you. You can pick it up and hand it to me. And I'll put it on the rack for you. That's fine. But I am not picking up your mess. And I will not let anyone else pick up your mess. So... I think it took, like, maybe all of a minute. This this conversation transpired in maybe, like, two minutes, and then it took, like, a minute of him sitting there pouting and screaming and crying, and I'm just there, like, do-do-do-do-do, <laughs> like, whatever. Um, and then I'm like, all right, take a breath, and he's taking a deep breath, and I'm like, are you ready to get up and clean it up? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, so then keep sitting there until you're ready, and he's like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> just to, like do the opposite of what I said, you know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, if you're ready, let's pick it up. So he gets up, and he's like, mm, like grumpy, but he picks the shit up, and he hands it to me, and I put it back on the rack, and the fucking mess got cleaned up. And then I'm like, again, you know, he's like, it's an accident again. Why did it happen? Blah, blah, We talked about it, and he was fine. And then he said sorry, and we did the whole hugging thing. And I'm like, okay, that's it. You know, it's over. It happened. We handled it. It's done. And then we went upstairs and we found my mother again. And then like he was he was acting fine. And then the second we got back with my mother, he starts running around through the mall again, like hot mess. And that's when I had enough. And we were carrying something really heavy. And my mom and my aunt, like I was carrying it, but then my mom and my aunt had to take it and carry it between them. So I'm just like, we need to get out of here. So I picked him up. I kind of tossed him over my shoulder and he was literally kicking and screaming on the way out. But we walked out of the mall like that. But I understand because it's different dynamics. They're, I mean, they're try, I try to have discipline in the house, but it's not enforced. When I try to enforce it or when I try to have like an honest conversation with my mom and my, my aunt has even taken my side. She's like, you know, if I did what you did, what if she tells my mom, if she did with her grandkids, what my mom does with Noel, her sons would curse her the fuck out and kick her out of the house. But the difference is we live together. So, you know, it's, it's a different dynamic because me and my mom do live in the same house, but whatever. So like, I understand where he's coming from. And now with three people in the house to run back and forth to, it's even harder. School is back now. He's busy. He started hockey again. Like he's doing extracurriculars, um, we're gonna have homework, we're gonna be studying, we're gonna be doing, like, activities. Well, we, we did activities all summer, so whatever, that doesn't change. But now with school, it's more of a regular routine when my aunt leaves. Like, things are gonna change, so I'm not worried about his fucking behavior at all. I was a little brat. I had my temper tantrums, too. I threw myself on the floor quite a few times. Some kids do it, some kids don't. Not a big fucking deal. If you want to judge my kid with all of the love in my heart, you can go kiss my ass. Okay? Like, I'm just not gonna have it you judge my kid talk shit about my kid say you feel bad for my child you will get fucking blocked don't care not having any any conversation about my child you can say whatever the fuck you want to say about me that's cool I don't care love my personality love who I am love my body gonna keep doing me um my car (laughs) everybody I know personally everybody I know through acquaintances I don't know if it's a New York thing, but whenever somebody gets a new car, they're fucking proud of it. They show that shit off. Yes, I'm showing my fucking car off. No, I'm not like, eh, I have a Benz. Eh. I'm paying less for my Benz than I was paying for my Lexus. So I'm very happy about that. I'm saving money. Um, it's a come up. I'm proud of myself and I worked my ass off. So if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. Like, I don't know. I'm just used to it. Maybe you guys are not used to this. But everybody I know gets a new car, posts mad pictures with it. Or they have a nice car, they post mad pictures with their car. Some people, like, my ex was obsessive. Every time he changed, like, he tinted his windows, he had a new picture. He changed the, the color of his fucking headlights and put the HIDs. He posted pictures of it. Like, he went out one night and just got a car wash. He posted pictures of his car. It is what it is. You don't like it? You want to be a hater? Um, I mean, you could like, not like it, but not be a hater or you could, you know, some people are just haters. I'm not saying everybody that doesn't like me doing that is a hater. Um, 
But whatever, it is what it is. I'm going to keep doing what I feel like doing because I'm proud of myself and I want to show off my fucking car. Even if I had a fucking Honda, I would be proud that I have a fucking car. So, whatever. Like, you guys want me in a hoopty? I don't understand. So, that's just that. That's just that. Um, There was something else. Let me chug this shit because I really have to finish this. Mm Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so the car, the vlogs, my body, Noelle. What else shit you guys want to talk about me? Um, I need to learn to love myself first. I'm desperate, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I can get kind of desperate sometimes because I do want to be in a relationship. But it's not the end of the world. I've been single for a long time. Yeah, sometimes I cry because I'm single. Whatever. I mean, it's not like it doesn't rule my life. It might seem like it does because I'm just an emotional person. Like, if you watch my Snapchat when we went to the airport to fly back home from Vegas, I started crying because I saw the mountains. Like, the skyline with the mountains, with, like, the Vegas skyline and the mountains behind them. I started hysterically crying in the airport in front of people because of mountains you know what i mean like that's just who the fuck i am i'm very emotional i'm very in touch with my emotions and that is something that i honestly would never ever ever change about myself now before i always liked the fact that i was emotional i don't care that i cry when something touches my heart i fucking cry i cry during movies i cry I don't know, when I think about wanting a boyfriend, I cry the, when I dropped Noelle off at school yesterday for the first day of first grade. I fucking walked home from school crying the entire way in the street. People were watching me and I'm like, <laughs> whatever. I don't care. It is who I am and I'm not going to apologize for who I am. Especially not for being emotional, because that's something that I really like about myself. And I like that I'm okay with my emotions and showing them. Like, sometimes I cry happy tears. Sometimes I cry frustrated tears. You know what I mean? Sometimes I cry sad tears. I just, I don't know. I think crying is healthy. So, whatever. Um, and what else? I think that's everything. Now, with the, oh, okay. Now, let's let's move into the summer withdrawals this was one of the most amazing no the most amazing summer of my entire life um yeah in like five minutes thanks um yeah this was one of let me let me hurry up because somebody wants this parking spot this was one of the most amazing summers of my entire life um no this was the most amazing summer of my entire life i changed so much I grew so much everybody that I met this summer has been an amazing addition to my life Uh, people that I cut off it was for positive reasons I'm so happy my bucket list I made a bucket list something I've never done before I um, didn't do everything on my bucket list but I did do a lot of it if I hadn't done the bucket list I wouldn't have probably done shit with my life with my summer uh, I, there's things I've always wanted to do and then when it comes down to it, it just never gets done So doing the bucket list and decorating it nicely and just like going that extra step I think really made the difference So I would totally recommend that to anyone. It's something that was fun for me to do I took one day to do it and it completely Impacted my entire summer. I am super happy with my summer. I'm super happy with everything that I accomplished No, I am not moving out anymore. Not right now at least that doesn't mean that I'm not still saving to move out or going towards that goal You guys want to talk shit that I Whatever did all this stuff with my summer instead of moving out You don't know my life. That's not what happened. The reason why I'm not moving out Well, there's a few reasons why I'm not moving out but the deciding factor had to do with health concerns um and that's the only thing i'm gonna say about that i'm not gonna share with who i'm not gonna share what it is but whatever it's <laughs> i'm not like i'm not even gonna fucking explain myself with that when it's time for me to move out i will move out when i'm sure that it's gonna be a good decision for everybody um and that's pretty much that that's not to say that i just threw blew all my money on going out i didn't I am still saving towards it. I still have that, you know, that to the side. But when it's time, it will be time. Um, Yeah, my summer was fucking amazing. 
I, I'm just really happy overall with everything. So I'm going to actually go now because I want to give this lady the parking spot. But if anything, I'll check in with you guys when I get home, all right? So I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, guys, I'm home. I'm sitting on the edge of the bathtub because, oh, my bellies. Do you see this one? I don't like. Like, I look nice when I stand up and you see the definition. But once I sit down, it's like... Blah, 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 like I want to care. I want to tighten that up. But anyway, <clears throat> I have no problem showing my bellies on camera. Um, okay, so I think I pretty much said everything that I had to say. I addressed every comment, every concern. Um, a lot of people with the, especially with the Snapchat stuff, like why was things sideways and why was I like music and kissy faces and stuff. It's because it was Snapchat, guys. It wasn't regular vlogs. Like, we're back to vlogging life now. Um, so hopefully you will understand that and respect the fact that I wanted to rock out my summer and I did. And for anyone who says or thinks that I am insincere or full of myself or whatever, you don't have to watch. <laughs> um, I am probably one of the most open and sincere people you will ever fucking meet. I... I'm extremely open with you guys. There are some things that I keep private because <laughs> private life should be private, but like 95% of my life is open to you. Um, so if you want to call me insincere, then I really don't know what to say to that. Anyway, I am going to take a shower because um, I'm stinky sweaty and then I am going to probably hop on vlog one more time just to share some stuff with you guys about the book that I'm reading which I really have been loving I just started it so I want to share a little bit with you guys about that and I'm going to <laughs> try to hop on the computer like sit on top of my pile of mess and get on the computer to edit a video my workout video to post tomorrow tomorrow I have some errands to run um, so yeah, I'll eventually show you guys the mess that is my house, but I'm not even going to bother trying to fix it up when my aunt leaves because I'm redoing my entire room. So I'm moving my whole filming setup into my room since she broke my furniture. Um, the There's a big area of my room that's now empty because the furniture that was there is now broken. So I'm just going to take advantage and move my desk into that area. Then there's another... Um, like a uh, bureau, I don't know how to say it in English, like a wardrobe that has a broken drawer in the bottom and it's had it for years. It was like my brother's when he used to live here before he was married. So I'm actually getting rid of that and buying a new wardrobe, um, which has more space and no broken drawers. And then another thing in my room that was also my brother's that's also broken and it has been broken for years. I'm getting rid of it completely and putting shelves and putting my cable box on there instead. So it's going to be more spacious and just different, whatever. I'm excited. So I'm actually going to film for my beauty channel that whole process. So let me hop in the shower and yeah, then share the book with you guys. Bye.